Jupiter is the largest planet in our solar system. This huge gas giant has some gorgeous features in its atmosphere, including a great red spot, a storm that's been raging for over 200 years. As gases rise and fall within the atmosphere, and depending on their chemical compositions, we get these beautiful bands. And you can replicate this effect at home using some simple ingredients you can find around the house. You'll want to put some paper down before you start making your Jupiter in a jar. To make it, you'll need an empty glass jar, some food colouring or paint that will easily dissolve in water, some eyeshadow. Make sure you have permission to use this first. The more shimmery, the better. You can use fine glitter instead, but it doesn't work quite as well. Then you'll need a plate, a normal cutlery knife, and some warm water to mix together your Jupiter jar. To begin with, you want to fill your jar almost to the top with water. For the moment, do leave a little bit of room in the top. Once you've filled it up, take your food colouring or your paint, put a little bit in, and then you need to make sure you get it really nicely mixed. So very tightly screw the lid back on and give it a good shake. Once you've done that, we're ready to take our shimmery eyeshadow. You can see here how it catches the light. That's due to a powder called mica within the eyeshadow. If you happen to have some mica powder at home, you can use that instead of using the eyeshadow. Make sure you have permission from whoever's eyeshadow it is. Take your knife and pick a nice shimmery colour and gently scrape off the top surface of the eyeshadow. Once you've gone over the surface, you can tip that onto your plate. And then to give a bit of variety and to get those different colours like we see on Jupiter, if you have more than one colour available to you, pick another colour. Repeat this for as many colours you want, and you want to be aiming in the end to get about a teaspoonful of scraped off eyeshadow. Once you have a good amount, take the flat end of your knife and just grind together the powder so that you're making it into really fine little bits. The more finely you can grind it together, the better. Don't worry if it sticks together, that will change when you put it in the water. And now we put our ground up eyeshadow or very fine glitter or mica powder into our jar of coloured water. Make sure we get as much of it into there as possible. And then you want to screw the lid on really tightly and give it a really good shake to mix up all of that shiny shimmery powder in with the water so that as you get the water dragging around as you get the water by any bulges moving faster because it's got further to travel as you get little currents you'll be able to see them shimmering once you're done you can top it up with a little bit more water so it's almost at the very very top and then just for safety you might want to glue around the top or possibly use some tape around the top just to avoid any leaks. If you need to, you can always grind up a little bit more of the eyeshadow and put it in. But pretty quickly and with a nice bit of rotation, you should get to the point where you're able to get some beautiful bands of your own in your very own Jupiter jar.